All right, my lover. Uh, <laughs> TV <laughs> advertisers uh, use West Country accents, it seems, to de de depict thick people or people that can't read auto cue. <laughs> now, that is amongst the findings of one report put together by Telly Insiders for Channel 4. Uh, their study questioned more than 100 advertising executives and 1,000 consumers and found that working class people are more likely to be portrayed in stereotypical ways. But don't think you're off the hook just because you're not from the Southwest. Those despicable madmen allegedly use Scots to depict, get this, someone who's tight with money, <laughs> and Brummies to depict the working class. And this, <laughs> this Specsavers advert, which shows a delivery man climbing a high rise before being told he's in the wrong block, was also singled out for criticism with the setting, uniform and accent, they really got it horribly wrong, allegedly feeding into stereotypes. While this uh, ad that you're going to see in a second from Fairy also came under fire for showing an affluent white mother uh, who bathing her child, which the report used as an example as a lack of diversity in aspirational adverts. Horror. That aspirational. I mean, one thing I would say, right, there's a few things to pick up here. One. Channel 4, I mean, got well-documented revenue problems. I don't know if they should be telling off advertisers at this point, so that's an odd shout. <laughs> Biting the hand that well, feeds quite. Them. And the, the other thing is about the West Country accent. So advertising is based around stereotypes. It's how that whole industry yeah. works. The West Country accent is sort of humorous, right? There's a brilliant clip of uh, the original guy, that, well, the guy that actually played Darth Vader, David Prowse, uh, the Green Cross Code man, before James Earl Jones did his brilliant voiceover. You can actually find footage of... Uh, David Prowse saying, Commander, tear this ship apart and bring me the passengers. I want them alive. <laughs> <laughs> so there is the accent, whether you like it or not, it does carry a certain humour with it. I don't think it should be used to suggest that they're, that they're thick, but I do think that, that the advertisers coming up against an interesting crossroads where they know that what tends to sell is things that resonate with the broader public, yeah. but they're also now being managed into, well, you can't say this about this community, you can't say that, and, and, and you can't show affluent white mothers I mean, bathing their children. that's particularly ridiculous, isn't mm. it? Are we to say, are we are now unmothering all white, pretty women who have babies and are changing their nappy or whatever that lady was doing? Mm. I mean, this isn't a stereotype, it's just what millions of women do every day. That one is particularly ridiculous because they've used a celebrity. That is, Vogue it's Berg Williams, yeah. Spencer Matthews' uh -huh. wife. She's a celeb. She yeah. endorses it. Before her, it was um, the Fairs, one of the Fair sisters from TOWIE who are mm. doing it. That's the market they're going for. So that is just You're absolutely ridiculous. right, JJ. The thing that's aspirational isn't the fact she's white, it's the fact that she's Vogue Williams. She's <laughs> yeah. incredibly famous yeah. and, and successful um, public figure. I, I think that that is, that is the, the hard thing now. On the one hand, you've got advertisers who, who are trying to show as much kind of diversity of all sorts in their adverts, but I I'd be interested to see just how successful those adverts are and how well they're doing, because they need to res resonate with a broad audience. Yeah. yeah, but even the, the black delivery guy going up, to, up the stairs, I didn't look at that and think, oh, how, how dare they make a black guy do that? He looks so stupid. I just thought that guy looks pretty fit, but why has he gone all the way up to the top? Fit as in, yeah, yeah, like, as in, yeah, in, yeah. in shape. I don't, well, now we're I don't fancy him. We're now we're objectifying <laughs> him. <laughs> I'm objectifying yeah. him, yeah. yeah um, but I do object to the Brummie accent. I know it sounds stupid. I know people who sound like I sound, sound thick, but... No, I don't have the accent. But didn't so Peaky anymore. Blinders make it cool again? Yeah. Yeah, yeah they sure did. Mate. Because they're violent, though. They're violent working class guys, so they, they made it cool. But... Um, they do use the Brummie accent and the West, West World accent to be kind of like, all right, thickos, that kind of thing. The West Country accent has definitely been used as, uh, you know, on that. Because it all started with the kind of, you know, total cliche farmer with a bit of straw in yeah, his mouth. That yeah. was, you know, with that West Country accent. And it has been used in quite a lot of sort of literature and creative but Daisy stuff. May Cooper has got a lot to answer for recently. From, yeah. Very yeah. funny character. Uh, in this country, uh, Gareth Keenan uh, in in the office. Yeah. office yeah. It's got. I think that's oh, yeah. the point. Is it's got to have. It's fine for it to have comedic potential, but not that it, it sort of portrays people as routinely that, looking stupid. That, I think that's what they're saying. They're saying it's just very, very lazy about perpetuating stereotypes. But I, I think you know the the, the thing it's about stereotypes. I like a stereotype. Mm. Isn't well, come on, I mean, where, where have we can uh, become uh, so humorless and exactly. endlessly. Well, yeah, just mental. show a hapless dad in the background falling over because he can't put. Not anyway. Not yeah. Yeah. I like that. Posh, that anyway. posh white people get like ridiculed yeah. all the time and stereotyped as being mm. posh and white. And like, one of the things they were saying about Scottish accents being used to denote you know, some sort of tightness or, or <laughs> meanness or you know or, or trust trustworthiness. But if you think uh, 
um, a lot of companies have deliberately set their um, call centres in Scotland because we as consumers react very well to the yeah. Scottish accent. When, you know, if we get a, 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 a person on the other, other end of the phone with the Scottish accent, apparently we immediately do trust them. And I think it's painful get, yeah. to get someone who understands English, yeah. honestly. I mean, whatever well, their accent is, I don't really well, mind. I was, I was just going to say, yeah. also, your reaction to an accent, surely, also, um, is whether you have that accent around. I'm from the East Midlands, so a Birmingham accent for me was, was is just a perfectly normal. Really? Okay. Oh, I quite like the. Birmingham. Well, listen, coming up. <laughs> <laughs> <laughs>